internal radiator to 6,000 degrees. Yes, master. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I was just having a go at you, you know. British humor, not everyone's gonna get it. Don't you scientists ever have fun around here? No. <laughs> Okay, that should be about it. Ding! Oh my gosh, the time machine. I think the experiment worked. Well, how do we know? Uh, well, how do we know? <laughs> oh my god! Okay, this is really big. I think it works. <laughs> I'm gonna get this to the police chief. You stay here. Operation saving time is a go. Da -na -na -na. Officer Kevin McAllister, and no, not that one, has discovered a time machine. Very much like this one here. He is going to use that time machine to go back in time and erase the greatest catastrophe in all of American history. The 2016 presidential, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the invention of the spork. Kidding again, too random. The assassination of Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Not kidding, time travel makes you dizzy. <laughs> anyway, will he pull it off? Find out in Operation Saving Time by Frank Joseph. Da -na -na -na. <laughs> You wanted to see me, Chief? McAllister, what have I told you about knocking? <laughs> yeah, good, it's a good one, Chief. Sorry, I can uh, No, don't bother. <sighs> McAllister, I got bad news. The president has been assassinated. Yes! No, not the current president. I meant like <laughs> Abraham Lincoln has been assassinated. Oh, dear God, no. Well, he's been dead for about. 150 years there, McAllister. Oh, dear God! All right, we got it. <laughs> so, our resident scientist slash nerd over here, I'm me, I'm the nerd, has discovered that if we go back to the exact moment in time when Lincoln was assassinated, we can cause world peace, McAllister. So we need you to wait a minute. So you're saying I get to be time cop? <laughs> I think we both know why you were kicked out of that division, McAllister. Frequent urination is no laughing matter, but... Yeah, we kind of need you to take this one. Oh, okay. Well, what do I do? The scientist here is going to explain how his boo hickey works. Okay. So, can you tell me what this is, McAllister? Uh, the time machine? Correct. This knob here turns the qualitative to the quantitative, and you press this button to divide that by 5.62 and 2 to the third, I think. Bunch of random math stuff. You got it, right? No. And this <laughs> side, can you tell me what this does? Uh, no, not really. That just kind of looks like a toaster. Well, that's because it, it is. <laughs> this side of the time machines for making toast. <laughs> I thought it'd come in handy. Uh, comes with some uh, complimentary bread if you want it. Oh, don't mind if I do. Awesome. All right. Chief, I think I got a handle on this one. Okay. You know what you need to do, McAllister? Shoot Lincoln. No, don't shoot. <laughs> John Wilkes Booth. That's the feller's name. You got to get him and no one else. Got it? Oh, sorry, Chief. I just get them mixed up sometimes, you know? <sighs> All right. I'll write it on your hand for you. Give it here. Shoot Booth. You got mighty big hands, McAllister. Anyway, you <laughs> should be going now. Okay, well, I love all two of you, and uh, <laughs> if I don't come back, I want you to remember me for shh. Shut up, McAllister. Godspeed. <laughs> right, 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 Godspeed. Here we go. <laughs> oh! Whoa, that was awesome. Okay, <laughs> right, I gotta find the dude. What's his name? John Wilkes. Bill! I swear upon that name, this will be the last day the president ever lives. <laughs> or my name isn't John Wilkes Booth. That was surprisingly easy. Uh, <laughs> hey, dude, you're, uh, you're Booth, right? Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> What's it to you? Oh, uh, well, I wanted to know if you wanted to go, like, uh, hang out sometime. 
Hang out. Yeah, yeah, you know, go like uh, do, do something or something, get dinner, talk like us, like us guys do. <laughs> dinner, talk. Wait, are you trying to get with me? No, 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 no. I, I, I just want to be alone with you. <laughs>